friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I am going to show management of two very hard nuclei by my technique submarine job this is the first case you can see the cataract is black it can be called cataracta nigra capsulorexis has been done this is a large rexis as it is required for management of this black cataract and now the nucleus rotates nicely after hydrodissection visco is injected this is 2% SPMC if you want you can use chondroitin sulfate and now the exposed part of the fecal needle is enlarged for managing this hard cataract. So now it is the time to introduce the fecal needle in the anterior chamber. Vacuum is 450, flow rate is 45 and ultrasonic energy is 90% in continuous mode little bit of superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now submarine the tip will go into the substance of the nucleus move through the nucleus like a submarine here it is it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator crosses the central part reaches almost near the opposite equator and then it is chopped this air bubble is disturbing me so I'm going to remove this air bubble injecting some visco in the anterior chamber but the air bubble went toward towards 6 o'clock I decide to go in rotate the nucleus 180 degree and now use vacuum to remove all the air bubbles do one or two sculpts go to a deeper plane hold one half of the heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely in this case I'm going to divide the nucleus into six pieces each heminucleus is being divided into three pieces so this heminucleus has been divided into three now I come to the other heminucleus it is also being divided into three pieces this is one again some air bubble is disturbing remove the air bubbles engage the teeth it goes deep into the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped and now there is some attachment of the three pieces the two heminuclei are completely separate but the three pieces are not completely separate so I'm going to use two Sinsky hooks to separate these pieces here it is and now all the three pieces are separate rotate it come to the other heminucleus still some they are joined to each other here it is and now six completely free pieces are there now inject some visco and now I go into the anterior chamber with 85% to 90% ultrasonic energy in continuous mode this is Oatly Catarix 3 I use ultrasonic energy only when the tip is occluded so 
intermittent application of ultrasonic energy though the ultrasound is in continuous mode cornea remains very clear next day so all the pieces are being emulsified with this high vacuum high flow and high energy setting 90% ultrasonic energy 45 ml 45 ml per minute is the flow rate and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury here during emulsification of the last piece we can reduce the vacuum when we can come to sculpt mode where the vacuum is only 50 to 60 mm of mercury but in this case it was not necessary this is the second case the people is not well dilated we can say this is a mid dilated people and this cataract appeared red on slit lamp so we can call this cataracta rubra so in this video we are going to see two cases two very hard cataracts one is cataracta nigra the first case and this is cataracta rubra the second case black cataract and red cataract adequate sized rexis has been achieved by going almost along the border of the people I I'm not sure whether I will need any people expansion device in this case or not but if it is required we have BHEX people expander in our stock I'll use that and that is already in our stock already in the operation room and now Visco this is 2% HPMC you can use chondroitin sulfate first and below that over the surface of the cataract you can use SPMC or sodium hyaluronate but I use 2% SPMC in, even in this black and red cataracts and now the feconeidal is introduced with bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned the bevel is up towards the cornea here it is the teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus like a submarine completely into the sub substance of the nucleus reaches almost near the opposite equator and now in this case what happened is the I was not able to separate the nucleus unless I did cut the anterior portion of the yes as I cut the anterior portion of the lens matter I could get the crack and the nucleus now is rotated 180 degree one or two skulls and the two pieces are completely separated in this case I decided to make four pieces not six pieces Here again cut the yes the two pieces are completely separate rotate it come to the other hemineucleus again the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus through the substance of this hemineucleus goes near the equator and now 
the chopper is used. Yes, the pieces are separate, the pieces are turned, the apex is emulsified first and then the rest of the pieces. If necessary, this large piece is subdivided into two smaller pieces. S in this case, also the setting is same. Ultrasonic energy is 90 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So almost we're going to manage the hemineucleus. The ultrasound is in continuous mode, but ultrasound is being applied only when some piece is occluding the tip. Again this piece turned the apex is attacked first now the tip is at the iris plane I try to keep it little below the iris plane so that there is a lot of space between the piece and the corneal endothelium the tip is always at the central 3 millimeter zone where the antechamber depth is maximum. And this is the last small piece. Though the vacuum is set at 450, um, controlling the vacuum through foot switch in the SPIP mode of Faro's. This is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. Very slowly and very cautiously removing the last few pieces last few bits of the nucleus and here it gets over so we have seen two very hard nuclei being managed by this technique submarine job thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please raise the bar of your skills put yourself in challenging situations and raise your skills to a certain level so that you can give very good service to the mankind thank you for your attention